Hey, what's up everybody? So tomorrow is one of my favorite events of the year and that is going to be Google I.O. It's a three day event and um, unfortunately I didn't go this year. I really want to go. I really, really, really want to go to Google I.O. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. I don't know. Uh, but eventually one day, one day in my entire freaking life will I be able to attend that event, that three day event, that luscious event where I know I'll be like, freaking you know six-year-old at a Chuck E. Cheese but um I don't feel too bad because like most people who are not able to attend the event you can actually check out the event by downloading the Google I.O. application from the Google Play Store and I'll show you guys um I got the app downloaded on multiple devices just in case so there's the app right there and uh when you click it after you accept the terms of service and everything like that you get a calendar of what's going to be going on at the event um, so some of the, the topics we're going to be talking about at Google I.O. this year, then we'll be talking about ads, Android, cloud, design, Firebase, location and maps, miscellaneous, mobile web, play, search, TV and living room, and VR. And they give you the times of e when, when each keynote starts. Of course, multiple keynotes will be starting at the same time. So it's really about, you know, what are you... Um, either there in person to watch or if you're going to be streaming it on your smartphone or tablet uh, which one is more interesting to you to check out um, so at 1 p.m tomorrow we'll start the what's new in android so that's a popular one that i'm going to be checking out and um, at 4 p.m i'm going to be watching the introducing project tango area learning which is introducing project tango uh, which is vr so you get that at 4 p.m. And then on Thursday at 9 a.m., they got VR at Google. And then also Thursday at 3 p.m., they got what's new with Project Tango. Um, so those are a couple of things in the VR that I'm going to be checking out. And uh, one of the cool things about um, Google I.O. this year is that if you can't see it in person and you're going to watch it on YouTube, they are going to have it in 360 viewing. So you'll be able to see everything around you as if you were standing there in person. Uh, a couple of spotlight things, of course, uh, Project Tango will be there. But besides Project Tango, Project Aura is going to make its presence at Google I.O. this year, which is really, really, it's exciting. But then again, it's also like, you know, is there any further progression? Because Google, um, Project Aura basically has been talked about since 2011. And uh, we're in 2016, so that's five years later. And the device still hasn't come out in the market yet. Of course, I believe it was last year's uh, Google I.O. or the year before, they actually were able to take a picture using the camera modular. Now, of course, if you guys don't know what Project Aura is, uh, Project Aura basically is a smartphone being built by Google, but it's a modular phone. Nothing like the LG G5, uh, but it's a modular phone. It's got these little mod modules that are like plug and play. Basically, uh, people call it a Lego phone because on the back of the phone, you see all these little, little like bricks uh and you can just swap out so rather than buying a new phone as an upgrade you would just buy these modulars and plug and play basically connect it in and then the phone will recognize and so you can upgrade the processing chip you can upgrade the memory you can upgrade the internal storage you can upgrade the battery you can upgrade the camera um, you can do a lot of upgrading on it just by buying new modular pieces and plug and play so um uh, well great idea they were able to demo a picture, but I hope they've gotten a hell of a lot farther than just getting the camera to work on this device. Because this device is really awesome. I think the idea is phenomenal. I just really wish it would come out to the market already. Um, but anyways, yeah, we can expect Project R to make its presence. Also, Google Glass 2.0 is expected to be at Google I.O. this year. Now, this is uh, also pretty exciting because I remember when Google Glass came out, it was everyone was excited for it. I mean, you had people like Chris Chavez wearing it you know, doing the Mobile Roar podcast, you had multiple um, tech bloggers actually, you know, using it. Josh McGarr from Android Authority had it, and it was, it, was, it was pretty cool. But then it went quiet for a while. We didn't really see too much of it, really, really didn't hear too much of it. Until now, Google Glass 2.0. So I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to talk about with Google Glass, the evolution of it, if they've made anything better, if they've enhanced anything, if they made it look different. All that will be answered this coming next three days. Um, and then the cake itself to this, this this whole mad party of Google's is uh, Android N. We will finally get targeted points talked about Android N and what's changed in Android N versus 
um, previous version of Android, as well as they may unveil the new flavor name for it. So whether it's Nutella, Nutter Butter, if it's Napolitan, whatever the case may be, we will actually probably get to know what the name is. Hopefully they've decided on the name. Um, this is the first time where a preview version of Android came out before Google I.O. So, yeah, now we're going to get some talks about Android N and what's going to be changing in it. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I'm kind of down that I didn't get to go. Uh, but I'm really not going to miss anything. So um, starts tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. There will be different events going on about things that Google has cooking up. So if you guys are interested in that, if you guys want to check it out. Download the application so you can get notifications of when each keynote starts. You can um, watch it on there as well. And that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. Big thumbs up would really help me out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not. And you guys will see me in the next one. Bye.